look so crusty right now, but to be fair, I was in the ER yesterday, so I'm allowed to look crusty. <laughs> Did not make you laugh. Did not make you smile. Hi friends, it's Rory, and today we're going to do another book tag. I know that I just did a book tag, but uh, as is the trend right now uh, with the star rating tweets on Twitter, a regular book tag, one star. A gay book tag, so many stars, make it gay. Today um, I'm going to be doing the sapphic book tag, which was started by uh, Teresa from A Reading Elf. Um, I mentioned her in a last, I think my one of my last videos, I've, I've mentioned her. I really, really like her Twitter and I've, she, she's awesome on Twitter and I just started following her booktube and her videos are great. I just want to be friends. As you can clearly see from my flag, I am a lesbian. Hi, how are you doing? So it just makes sense for me to do a sapphic book tag and so that's what this is hi let's go ahead and get started first is uh career's war a book with the enemies to lovers trope unfortunately i kiss kate is not published yet otherwise that would probably be my answer because i'm so freaking excited for i kiss kate i really tried to get sapphic books for all of these but uh i just i haven't read en enough enemies to lovers uh, books and specifically I haven't read any with a female female romance except for one but I'm using that for another answer and I didn't want to like have the same book for multiple answers <laughs> whatever uh, so instead I said uh, red white and royal blue by Casey McQuiston I don't even need to explain what red white and royal blue is because I feel like every single person on booktube has read this book at this point so um yeah i need to read more enemies queer enemies to lovers books specifically because it's one of my favorite tropes it's like my go-to fan fiction trope of all time just love it but um most of the enemies to lovers books that i have read have ended up being straight up next the seven husbands of evelyn hugo a book about a celebrity real or fictional her royal highness by rachel hawkins um because the main character or the love interest to the main character is a princess in that book and a big thing about it is uh how she's a celebrity and in the media a lot and yeah i swore that i just heard my roommate son say uh the hulk is a whore just casual things in my household yeah uh her royal highness is the story of a girl who uh was just broken up with her girlfriend and so to kind of get away from that and the fact that she's in love with Scotland she uh, is accepted to a Scottish boarding school is able to get a scholarship and so she goes there and she ends up being roommates oh my god they were roommates um, with the princess of Scotland um, and at first they hate each other uh, but they end up becoming friends and they end up falling for each other it's really cute it's really cute it's not like the best book that you'll ever read but if you are a fan of hallmark like movies which i am because my mom watches hallmark channel like it's a religion um then <laughs> you'll like this book because it feels like a hallmark movie except make it gay girls of paper and fire a book with asian rep my answer to this is queens of geek by uh, Jen Wilde. I love that book so much. Um, it is the story of uh, two girls specifically. Um, the one with the Asian rep is a girl who is um, a YouTuber and she was just in her first movie. She's bisexual um, and she is Chinese Australian. Uh, the second uh, main character is actually a plus size uh, 
girl with Asperger's. Uh, I love both sides of the story, but specifically for the bisexual main character, she uh, was just starred in her first movie um, and she was dating her co-star uh, and they had a very public and very painful breakup and now they're just trying to like work together and be civil because they're both like doing tour like press for their movie at this convention um and she also has a crush on another youtuber who is a female and it's really really cute it's super duper cute i adore it i also really adore the other side of the uh of the story with the other best friend. That was a good book. If you haven't read Queens of Geek, it's really good. Highly, highly recommend it. These Witches Don't Burn, a book with magic. So, <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of uh, fantasy or sci-fi. I am gonna say specifically The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare. Reason being, um, Helen and, <laughs> Helen and Eileen are main characters in that book, and they are my favorite shadow hunter ship. Um, absolutely freaking adore them. Um, along with that, the other main characters are Alec and Magnus, so it's just a very queer book overall because you have four main characters who are all queer in some way with Alec being a gay man, Eileen being a lesbian, and Magnus and Helen both being bisexual. Just great. And there's magic in it because it's the Shadowhunter world and because Magnus is a warlock, so it fits. <laughs> uh, up next, this is How You Lose the Time War, a book with star-crossed lovers. Um, I put The Dark Wife by Sarah Diermer. Um, this is a Hades and Persephone retelling, except um, Hades is a woman in this book, and so it's a lesbian Hades and Persephone retelling. Clearly, I, I didn't have to... I'm sorry. It's super duper cute, it's super duper fluffy, but naturally, because it is a Hades and Persephone retelling, there's kind of like a star-crossed lovers type feel to it because they're not actually no one really wants them to be together it's just it's really great and i love that story and i highly recommend it if you have a like, kindle unlimited i know that you can get it for free through that service because that's how i originally read it up next wilder girls a book you would take if stranded on a desert island um the Gay Teen's Guide to Defeating a Siren. If you've been on my channel, you've heard me mention this. Uh, specifically, the second one is one of my favorite books. I adore it a lot. Um, the main character is a gay man, but uh, one of his, or two of his best friends are um, both lesbians or bisexual. One is for a fact lesbian and the other one it's never explicitly stated. The way that a gay teen's guide to defeating a siren's story is is that uh, all these kids are at a school that is fronting as a gay conversion camp or like a gay conversion school. Um, so all of the characters in the school themselves are queer uh, in some way. I've mentioned before how much I absolutely adore this book. It's one of my favorites. I wish more people would read it. I look at Cody Wagner's Twitter every single day to see when he's gonna announce the third book. It's... <laughs> there's not much else for me to say. The Miseducation of Cameron Post, a book to screen adaptation. There has not been a lot of queer books um, that I myself have read that have green adaptations for them. So I'm gonna go with the stereotypical answer probably of Love, Simon. Uh, I'm a big fan of Simon Versus, and I saw Love, Simon in theaters 
Mm, probably nine times because in my head I was like, I will single-handedly fund this movie so that there are more queer teen movies made that are mainstream. Well, I do think the book is better than the movie I really to this day I still love the movie I have my problems with it but I there I adore that movie how to make a wish an upcoming <laughs> why did I say it like that upcoming release you wish you had right now I kiss Kate by Anna Birch I'm gonna continue to mention this book in like every single one of my videos until it is in my hands I want it I need it to be out like three months ago it doesn't come out until July 28th though, so. <sighs> More waiting. It's fine though, it's fine. The Priority of the Orange Tree, the biggest book you've read. This also, I guess, counts as sapphic because there are sapphic relationships even though they are side characters. Um, but the longest book that I've ever read is Queen of Air and Fire by Cassandra Clare, which is over a thousand pages long. What the hell, my guy? Once again, Helen and Eileen, they're, they're my favorite. I, I absolutely adore them. I just, give me a, give me a book where Helen, give me a book about Helen and Eileen's marriage while they were out in isolation in Siberia. Like, come on. Cassandra Clare. Give it to me. Sock Hill Girls, a spooky book. Uh, for this, I have The Rules for Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall. Rules for Vanishing is the story of a girl who is, um, I think she's bisexual. She may be a lesbian. She has a ex-girlfriend who is a another girl, um, and their relationship is a fairly big part of the book, um, but the main plot is that they live in a town where every year on a certain day, it, you can go onto a road that is supposedly like haunted. Like this road only shows up on that day and you can go down. And the year before the main character's sister went down the road and disappeared as everyone else who has gone down this road. And so her and her friends are going to try to go down the road to save her sister. And last but not least, recommend a sapphic book. So I'm going to recommend On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. It's a graphic novel. It's fantastic. Um, it's a sci-fi graphic novel uh, that's told in like two... T it's told from the same point of view of the main character, but in two different timelines. Um, so there's the past where you're at a boarding school um, and it tells kind of the love story of this girl and her best friend and how they start to date um, before her best friend disappears uh, because she's taken by her family um, back home and she she never the main character never gets to say goodbye and then the future point of view where she has been assigned to a ship of um, kind of like historical, um, I don't know the word, like contractors. They take old historical buildings and they like clean them up and make them ready to be put into like commission as um, like fancy buildings and museums and stuff like that. Love that book, love that book. And it's super duper easy to read. It is a very like girthy uh, graphic novel, but it's so good. I read it in less than three hours. This has been the sapphic book tag. I'll put a link down below to the original tag. Along with that, I hope that you guys had a great time with me today. As always, there's a link down below to where you can register to vote. Make sure that you are getting your voice heard. I will also have resources to the information about the Black Lives Matter movement and since it is Pride Month I will have um, resources for LGBT information like petitions you can sign uh, specifically those that are focused on trans um, issues seeing as what has been going on with JK Rowling. As always, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. 
Bye.